You will be needing 500 grams of potatoes. For me, these are four large ones. Six medium sized eggs. For the filling, I'm keeping it simple today. I'm using mushrooms. Actually, I wanted to use button mushrooms or shiitake mushrooms, but I did not get any. So I'll just be using these um, oyster mushrooms, which I got quite fresh. But if you get a medium mushroom like button or shiitake, then please use that. I'll be using two green bell peppers, 100 grams of cheese. Now the original recipe calls for cheddar, but where I live, I don't get a variety of cheeses. I only get mozzarella and um, this processed cheese. And I thought mozzarella would be a little too light for this because they said use something sharp. So I thought the next best option for me and the only option for me is this processed cheese. And if you wonder why this one is white and this one is yellow, that's because I'm using two different brands. 130 grams of coconut milk, which is about half a cup. But that's not very accurate because it depends on what kind of cup you are using. So accurately, this is 130 grams. I'm using coconut milk because I am not very good with lactose, but you can use the normal dairy milk. Around half a teaspoon of black pepper. Salt. I'm using potassium salt. You can use pink Himalayan salt or normal sodium salt. I'm just using potassium salt because I wanted to boost up the potassium content a little bit. Paprika, which is optional, and 10 grams of butter. Try to use grass-fed and organic if you get it. First step is to peel and slice our potatoes and I will just go through this very fast, okay? Now I'm going to wash this with water once. Add some salt for taste, some black pepper to add half of the butter that we had well seasoned okay i'm going to use a nine inch baking dish for my quiche and with the rest of the butter i'm just going to grease it because we do not want our potatoes to stick layer our potatoes And the thicker ones should go on the sides and you overlap these as well okay because again we don't want any filling to get out so we are going to overlap this and it also looks aesthetically very nice the bad ones you can just put it at the bottom And make sure you fill out any hollow parts. Like I said, we don't want the filling to spill. This will now go into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until this is half cooked, okay? Let's prepare our filling till then. The mushrooms I have washed, shred these apart like that. I'm not going to chop these or anything. And the ones which has a kind of little mature roots, I'm just going to turn this off. Not too large, not too small. And I don't like really overcooked capsicums. In fact, I like them a little crunchy. As for the cheese, you can grate them, but I don't have patience. So I'm just going to cube them. I'm just going to pre-cook the mushrooms before adding in the filling because they will release a lot of water on cooking and I don't want my peach very watery. And I'm just going to cook this on dry heat with a little bit of salt until all the moisture just vaporizes.
I have already broken my six eggs into my bowl. Into that, I'm going to add my cheese of my capsicum, mushrooms, paprika, tiny bit of salt. Now be careful with the salt because the cheese is salty. We have already salted our potatoes and we have lightly salted our mushrooms as well. Then I'm going to add in my milk. The potatoes also look great. They have some browning on the sides. I'm just going to pour in my filling. This beauty now goes back into the oven at 200, 180 to 200 degrees centigrade, depends on your oven. And normally it takes around 35 minutes. Uh, let's see, I'll update you in the end, okay? It took around 35 minutes. And now this needs to cool down a little bit before I can cut and serve it to myself. Mmm. It's very good guys. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you have any questions then please leave it in the comment section below. And until I see you guys next time. Bye. Take care. I love you. Stay healthy. Bye bye.